Eco Living and Design, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 169. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 169, June 19th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, and links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the information lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of information is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written part of the information lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the Courage lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, which features contributions from naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, this week we compiled all of the rice recipes as you see here. They will be added to our updated recipe strategy, which is in progress. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also finished this render looking northeast for the Tropical Atrium Planting and Harvesting Plan page. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on Section 10, where we analyze the chronological procedural steps 1 through 41 for accuracy of content, grammar, and sentence structure. We also changed locations of steps 33 to 39 due to the addition of 6 mil and 12 mil layers on Earthbag Course 9 instead of Course 8 due to the relocation of the backsplash from the top of the Earthbag Course 8 to the top of the Earthbag Course 9. We'd say we are now 86% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional do-it-yourself Earthbag Village Murphy bed furniture assembly instructions. What you see here is week five of this process in our first version of instructions for cutting the proper pieces. Gao Yang Du, construction project manager, also began working on the material schedules layouts for the Earthbag Village materials page. You can see the beginning of these schedules here and they are purpose to bring the formatting and organization of the materials and associated web pages up to industry standards. Ray Tribole, web developer and active duty U.S. sailor, also began working on final revisions and edits for the communal vermiculture eco-toilet designs that are part of the Earthbag Village Pod 1. 
What you see here is the Google Doc Trib is working on before beginning to move these details to the website. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod too. What you see here is a second generation render for one of the studio residences within this village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 24 of his work that continued with adding more plants, textures, and other outdoor details to the Cobb Village overview images you see here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also joined the team and began adding people, backgrounds, and other details to the renders for the Shipping Container Village Pod 5. Here you see the first of these renders. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is another revision of the SWOT analysis page and multiple iterations of the sustainable design and service design pages. Also working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, continued designing and exploring different bathroom tower options. These will include individual storage spaces below, recreation space above, and be separate from the trees to maximize efficiency and minimize the ecological footprint. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on what is needed for the renders of the natural pool and spa area aspects of the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was on creating three different designs for the waterfall, also arched stonework around the mechanical room door, and a small pond near the waterfall. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also completed an analysis of the city center lighting requirements and suggestions completed by last year's intern team with the requirements and suggestions from PS2 Engineering. You can see this work here. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, also finished reorganizing the hundreds of city center files for us. What you see here is about 20% of this work. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round 10 of Iris's work, along with the brainstorming drawing of our weekly call. This work is now focusing on different ways to artistically and effectively integrate the ceiling lighting with the shelving. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui De Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued with circuit board testing for the city center control systems designs. What you see here are pictures from our weekly call with discussions revolving around an overheating issue Lucas was experiencing. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team created new icons for the pledge page and updated the formatting for that page, and updated the formatting and added new menus to the tops of the associated values pages for love and connection, honesty and integrity, fulfilled living, freedom, diversity, contribution, consensus decision making, community, and communication. We also updated all the icons for the Highest Good Economics open source hub and all pages associated with the hub. Lokesh Gopu, software engineer, also continued developing the Highest Good Network software. Here's a picture of Lokesh and Jay discussing the task management component he worked on this week. One community thinks that eco-living and design should be easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough that people would rather live that way than the way that they're living right now. So we're here to demonstrate that, to create that. To make it easy enough and affordable enough, we are open sourcing and free sharing and designing blueprints and do-it-yourself instructions for sustainable living. These blueprints and instructions cover all the foundations of an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability to create a way of living that we feel that most people will find is more attractive, more beneficial to their well-being, to their health, to their happiness than the way that they're living right now. Of course, foundations of physical sustainability are food, energy, and housing, and the foundations of emotional sustainability are highest good education, highest good economics, uh, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. 
putting these together as an evolution of sustainability and creating completely self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. These solution models are purposed to teach other people how to create solution-creating models too. The idea being that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own because people will rather live this way than the way that they're living right now, and we've made it easy enough and affordable enough to facilitate that process, to streamline that process, and then because everything is open source and everything is free shared, we will build a global collaborative of people working together to create more open source and free shared sustainable and self-sufficiency methods working together and creating a culture of cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. Simultaneously addressing all the challenges of our generation and the next few generations to come by comprehensively addressing all of them at the same time because we see them as not only interdependent or sorry interrelated but as interdependent. How can we address homelessness if we don't address education? How can we address education if we don't address poverty? How can we address social injustice if we don't address all of these things? How can we address war if we don't address these things simultaneously, equally and fairly for everybody? And how do we do that equally and fairly for everybody? It's by bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, to build a model in open source and free share that model so that people can come and experience it. If they like what they experience, they can take it out and replicate it in whatever way works best for them. But because everything is designed with a consciousness for the highest good of all, with the purpose of equal living and design becoming mainstream, becoming more affordable, becoming easier, and demonstrating how attractive a lifestyle built on that can be, we can create a replicating system that will spread throughout the world and touch the lives of everybody. Creating, perhaps for the first time, arguably, for the first time in the history of humanity, a world that truly works for everybody. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting, it sounds like something you'd like to participate in, we've got lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer members that will build one community, to just volunteering as a consultant behind the scenes or volunteer behind the scenes, to just sharing our information on social media. For the first time in the history of the world, we have the ability to spread ideas globally. And so your likes on Facebook, your shares on Twitter, or on LinkedIn, or on Tumblr, or on Reddit, or on Pinterest, we are on all the different social media networks, Sue, to make it as easy as possible. Those shares are what helps get the idea out there and brings more people with a consciousness for the highest good together to create this, to create it for the benefit of everybody. Working together to make eco-living and design not only mainstream, but the norm. Not just mainstream, but the way that people choose to live because it makes more sense for all life on our planet. This is what one community is doing. People ask, well, how can we help? Get involved. Get involved. Share our information. Help us find the large-scale funding that we're still looking for. We still haven't purchased the property that we've been working with now for five years. So if you or somebody you know has access to funding or knows somebody that would be interested in either investing in one community or donating to our 501c3, we are an all-volunteer unpaid organization. Every dollar, every $5 donation, $10 donation, and larger goes to forwarding our mission because none of us are paid because we know that this world is possible. It's worth working towards, and we want to live this way. Eco-living and design is choice, but right now that choice is too expensive. It's not easy enough. It's not attractive enough, so people aren't participating. One community is here to make eco-living and design the choice that people turn to because it provides more of what they want. And this is what our updates are about every single week. So if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, Send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll put you on our newsletter list. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links about everything that we're talking about, visit our written blog. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to follow our information and get updates that way. Participate in whatever way works best to you. Thank you for the people that already do. Thanks for the emails. Thank you for the likes and the shares on social media. Thank you for the small donations. They help cover our expenses that are currently greater than uh, the donations that we get in. So every donation really makes a difference. And thanks for watching our video all the way to the end. Every little bit helps. And we want to create and we are creating a movement to reach that tipping point of global participation so that for the first time in the history 
of this planet. We can have a world that truly works for everybody. And we know that this can happen within our lifetime. We are being the change that we wish to see in the world. And we invite you to participate. And we thank you if you already are. If you're watching this video, ultimately, you already are. So thanks for helping create a better world. And thanks for following our progress.